Hello, uh, my name is uh, David Pavlovsky. I am the brother of Pastor Arthur Pavlovsky. And I'm Nathaniel Pavlovsky, the son of Pastor Arthur Pavlovsky. As you are aware, Pastor Arthur has been arrested yet again for doing his job as a pastor. He was arrested on February the 8th for giving a speech on February the 3rd at the Coots Trucker Blockade on the border of Alberta and Montana. He went there to deliver a sermon, Lord's Supper, and to pray with them. He simply wanted to do his job as a pastor and give them hope. Art was arrested for mischief over $5,000, interrupting the operation of essential infrastructure in a manner that renders it inoperable, and breaching his bail condition of not keeping the peace from his arrest back in September at the airport after returning from the States. All these charges are in relation to his speech at the lodge in Coots, Alberta at the trucker border blockade. They claim he is responsible for the border blockage. He has received hundreds of tickets and appeared in courts hundreds of times. This is his 15th arrest and fifth since the start of the pandemic. All for doing his job as a pastor, not for committing actual crimes. Arthur just finished three days of Esther's fast and has begun 21 days of Daniel's fast. The first one is to expose the enemy's corruption. And the second is to get an answer from God. We all need for God to intervene more than ever. We are doing the same fast as Pastor Arthur. So please, we would love you to join with us. Let's cry out to God together. When it comes to the conditions in, his, in, his, uh, uh, in the jail, he's treated horribly. It's got nothing to do with justice. He has been stripped, searched twice, and checked for contraband. He, uh, he was forced to go to the bathroom with an officer present and watching. They locked him twice in a small cage resembling a dog kennel with no air circulation suffocating him for many hours. All of that without any water to drink. After that, he was subjugated to a hard bench three times for hours on end, all without any water to drink. For over two days, he had no water to drink. He had no running water in his cell. When they took him back to, to his cell, his room was all upside down flipped and searched for contraband. His Bible was confiscated and his na narrated letter written to his lawyer was also confiscated. However, during his stay, his stay in a prison, he has seen other people awarded those privileges, books and writing material. This is not justice, but punishment an absolute abuse of power. He has been moved to the back of the prison so that he cannot see or hear his supporters outside. The conditions of the cell are filthy, disgusting. Remember, they have put him on quarantine for 14 days because of the biggest pandemic the world has ever seen. Yet the conditions are filthy. There is no running water to even wash your Hence, there is no toilet paper. Pastor Arthur is in solidarity confinement for 23 hours a day, with only one hour to speak with lawyers and family. Today, just today, he had only 20 minutes to make his phone calls. Arthur needs your help. He is asking you all for help. Please help him. This abuse of power, harassment, and persecution must stop. We are asking for assistance on a global level. Pastor Archer is currently being held as a political prisoner, not because of any legitimate crime, but because he refuses to bow to the government's tyranny. He represents millions of people worldwide who simply want to live and worship peacefully as free people. His imprisonment is all of our imprisonment. 
This constant harassment and persecution cannot be allowed to continue, unchecked and unchallenged. We demand the immediate release of Pastor Artur Pavlovsky. We cannot allow for pastors to be treated this way. We are working with Cindy Chafian in the United States, who has put together vigils and peaceful protests at Canadian embassies and consulates in the United States of America and all around the world. This global international vigil and protest will take place on Tuesday, February the 15th at noon. The U.S. truckers will also be involved in this protest against the corruption and persecution of the Canadian government against Pastor Art. If you would like to join this movement, please go to freepastorart.com for more information. There will be a place for local coordinators to step up and offer help with any consulate or embassy worldwide. Please go to freepastorart.com and help us fight this great injustice. My Father, thanks you for your support, and God bless you. May God bless you.